Melody. I'll keep it nice and simple. I won't go too, like, diverse. And I'm going to have... Oh, do I need to write it backwards is the question for you guys to see it. Oh, I might need to do that. Oh. Because it's not going to work. Because you're going to be reading it. Oh. Okay, fine. Right, let me go get... Let me go get a, a whiteboard thing. Right. <laughs> Can't you? I don't think I can flip the camera annoyingly. Um, right, it's fine. I'll write. I'll try and write melody backwards. Hang on. How do I? How do we, I want to do it this side as well, won't I? So M is easy. I can just do an M. I'll do it in all capitals to make my life easier. And it's going to be the the most horrific handwriting as well. Mello. Oh, rubbish. Bear with me, everyone. I'm, I should have set this up prior, but I thought literally on the spot, maybe make it a bit more visual what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to be rating your guys' favourite songs. Melody. Uh, I also want to do lyrics. Um just because lyrics can be really important to certain people. So uh, lyrics will be the second category. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do melody, lyrics and production. How about that? Um, I think that makes the most sense. Which way does the R need to be that way? I really hope this actually works. Yeah, and then I'm just going to write prod because that's so much easier than production. Um, prod and then there. And then, right, here we go. Yes! I've done it. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to ask you guys for your favourite songs. Um, feel free to, like, comment them in the chat. Uh, preferably songs that aren't like ridiculously mainstream, but I'll do a couple just to fan service and all that kind of shite. Um, but yeah, I want to, you know, listen to what you guys are listening to, get some insights on other different types of music that I might have, you know, missed or whatever. Just a fun little activity for the evening, basically. Um, I'm going to start off, I'm going to try and find what my favourite song at the moment is, which I'm actually not 100% sure. There, there are a few, I always have a few, because I listen to a lot of stuff. Um, is there anything like really new? That one is good. Um, thank you so much, May. And the outside. Um, okay. Yeah, no, none of these are... <laughs> Do you know what? The new John Bellion song. I think that is... I, there's so many songs I want to play, but I'm going to keep it fair. I'm going to do one of mine. Give everyone a second to think about what their favourite song at the moment is. It needs to be your favourite, but also, you know, try and go for something not too mainstream. Um, so I'll start off. And again... I, I'll probably do about... I'm not going to listen to the whole of each song. Probably do about half. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, I'll... Again, even even for my one, I'll, I'll do a ranking of melody lyrics. I'll do it out of 10, keep it easy. Um, and then we'll just, you know, add up that score at the end. I'm not going to keep note of all the scores because I just don't care enough. Um, but yeah, so this is John Bellion's new song, Kid Again. So... <laughs> Except it's not connected to my speakers, so bear with me. <laughs> Brilliant fucking start. Um, come on, you. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So already, the prod, I'm going to go... 
so like experimental with his production. You're gonna hate me and you're gonna think I'm biased for this, right? I'm gonna give the melody a 10. Because genuinely, the melody on this is just ridiculous. I don't know if I'm doing this the right way around. Yeah, there we go. Um, lyrics, I'm not as impressed by. I actually think I'd give the lyrics about a seven. I could do anything. <laughs> I did it the wrong way. So, for this current one is called Kid Again by John Belly and that's enough of that one. So how it's gonna work, Melody I ranked it 10, Lyric 7, Prod 9, so it's overall score out of 30 is 26. Quick maths, I think. <laughs> so that's not a bad score, 26 is a pretty good score. Yes, I picked that song, but you know, that's just my opinion. You're only really gonna get my opinion because I'm the one who's marking it. So if you disagree, then sorry. Um, but yeah, so let's pick the first song from you guys. Um, what are we? Move by Little Mix. Is it new? Little Mix haven't done anything new. I want. I want new stuff. Um, I. I mean, I suppose. I suppose it could be favorite songs. Um, Lose control, Teddy swims. I don't know if I've heard that one. Right. Okay. We'll do. Lose control. Teddy swims. Alrighty. I don't think I've heard this, but I might like be familiar with it. So I'll just play it. Oh, control. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know myself Just because it's obviously one of those slower ones and it is actually, at the end of the day, relatively simple production, I think I'm gonna give it... It's really clean sound, to be fair. Oh, it's tough. Me okay, I can do melody first. Melody's a nine. Uh, I hate the fact that I have to write this backwards. But there you go. Nine for melody. So I'm just listening to the lyrics a second. Lyrics are also a nine, I'm gonna say. This is actually a really strong start, to be fair. Uh, I'm just waiting for someone to suggest like a shitter. Um, production, just because it's really basic. But it is really clean sounding. It just, the, the production doesn't like switch up at all, so, and just, because this is my brain, like I want little switch ups and little cool things happening. Oh, 
nice little guitar solo actually. Let me turn that up. Okay, that just bumped it up a point. That did just bump it up a point. Um, yeah, that was. Do you know what? And I might have to. I might have to do that with some of these songs. I might have to listen to the majority of it because I'll miss stuff like that. Okay, so that I'm going to give an eight for production. It was sitting on a seven, but I changed my mind. So nine, nine, eight. That actually might. And in fairness, because this isn't the type of song I normally listen to. I do still prefer the song I showed earlier. But just in terms of like quality of the song, I'll I'll be completely fair. Like I'm going to try my best not to be biased in any way. Um, I think that has one, hasn't it? Uh, 18. Oh no, has it got the same score? Oh my God. I think I... Yeah, 26. Okay, so that's got the same score as the one before. All right, good start, Max. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose they're on similar levels in terms of, in my opinion, in terms of like their components. Um, okay, next song. Let's do it. Um, some of these I don't even... Uh, Norgard the Vaccines. That sounds interesting. Let's have a go with that. Norgard... I, I actually... For, oh wait, why is that not working? Don't tell me that's died on me. Oh. Okay. I'll just use this for now. No, God. Ah, oh, there it was. There it was. Just there. Come back. Yes. Okay, here we go. This is Norgard by the Vaccines. <laughs> I've I've heard all I need to hear. <laughs> I'm not good at that. I'm so sorry. Like I can only be so biased, but like that just I just can't do that kind of music. Like that's the type of thing you expect to hear at like I don't know a theme park as you're walking around it. Um, oh, I mean I'm I'll I'll be fair. I'll, I'll rate it. I'm not gonna you know that production man. The production's genuinely... Sorry to whoever suggested... Oh, my, I can't write backwards, man. I just can't do it. Um, <laughs> we'll try that again. Hang on. Uh, so we're going to go for that on production. Lyrics, honestly, they sounded pretty horror. Um, I think I'm going to have to go for the same on the lyrics. And then... Melody, the melody had something about it, but not much. I've just done, I've just done that as it is. I need to do that the other way around. Um, which way? This way. <laughs> that is my rating of, and I'll play it again for the people that may have missed it, Norgard by The Vaccine. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just not my kind of music at all. I'm sure there's a market for that, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. But Christ, I could not listen to that for very long. Um, okay. But I'm glad we're getting stuff like that in here because I wouldn't want it to just be like banger after banger because then it seems like, you know, I'm rating everything really highly and don't actually have a standard for what I'm listening to. So um, low by the driver era. Alrighty, um, low, the dr oh. there we go, the driver era, here we go, is this going to be similar in any way, again, I've, I've never heard of the song or the people that have written it, so, here we go, that's cool, I like that already, hang on, that's really cool, 
Oi! Oi! Wait, 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 wait. Let me do that again. You, so you guys might not be able to tell what's happening here, but because I've got two massive speakers that are like, they're quite well um, configured for this room. And just so in terms of like panning music and stuff, when people um, put the whole mix to one side, these guys have actually started everything either on the left or right side. I can't be bothered to figure out which side it is. Um, and have slowly brought it through from that side. So it's actually a real, like, it, it's quite a simple effect, to be fair. It's not like they've done anything revolutionary, but no one really does that. So I just want to listen to it again. Have a listen, see if you can hear it. I doubt you will be able to, though, so apologies. But that's a really cool effect. It, just, it sounds like it's coming in from another room. Like someone's walked in with a speaker. That's sick. Oi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why I'm doing this shit, okay? So that I can find new songs like this. This is actually, I'm putting this in my playlist. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the, the what's his name? Teddy Swims one. That one's not like quite my kind of music. This, and cause I, you know, I have a bit of a soft spot for chill music. That's so cool. Like, it's just such a cool song. Um, so that's low by the driver era. Let me, I'm, while I do my ratings, I'm going to keep it playing. Just play it for a little bit longer because I'm absolutely enjoying it. Hope a lot of you guys are as well. Well done to whoever suggested that. Sorry, I should really shout you out who's suggesting it, but I'm looking at all the comments going past. So I'm trying to like find a song and then I just, before I forget it, I type it in, but. And I'm still thinking about you. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm glad I listened to a little bit more because I am actually docking a point just because of the lyrics, only because of the lyrics. That second verse was quite lazy um, and I don't really know how to explain it. It just, every line that I heard in that verse was like a just a predictable thing to say it didn't sound like an original thought if you know what i mean so however it's still scored very highly um so we got 979 which that'd be 18 then oh it actually, i think it actually misses the maybe i rated that teddy swim song too high but i was i was just being honest i was i when i dissect a song i literally i don't even care particularly about how much i like the song it's about how good each individual component is because i prefer this song to the teddy swims one however i don't think it's scored as high um so that'd be 18 25 right yeah 25 and the other two got 26 so i mean it's still really good song and I'm a big fan of that production at the start. Um, but yeah, good good shout, whoever did that one. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? What else we got? Um, do you know what? I've seen this one and I was trying to avoid songs like this, but I will do the occasional one because obviously you guys want to hear... Oh, trying to use that keyboard it's not even working um i'm gonna do places to be by fred um 
who's this? Yo, I heard Hello. you're lonely. Who said I was lonely? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when did I say that? Maybe not those exact words. I mean, if you want to come and write songs with me, then you're more than welcome to. Yeah, go on. Um, right, Leo's here, everyone. They're, they're, they were actually asking us... No, I say they. Ben. Ben was asking about you the other day. Ben. Uh, Hillia. He was on yes. a live, terrorising a little bit. Yeah, turn and bring that in here. Um, and he was like, he texted me saying, I swear you guys hate Leo, he's never there. I was like, well, I mean, these two maybe. I, I said, I genuinely, without you here, I said, I don't hate Leo. Um, Fair so you're so welcome. Someone, you know, someone <laughs> on, my, on my most recent Instagram post commented, why do you hate your family? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's not quite the way it is. He's just at a boarding <laughs> school, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, they're all saying hi. Hello. Give, give them a little hello, Leo. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I've just been writing a couple of songs. Um, obviously, dissecting a melody, lyrics, production is backwards because yeah. flip screen. Um, and yeah, I'll happily let you sort of chime in on what you think. But unfortunately, my decision is final. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do this one. Is, I think. Is there another whiteboard? Do you want, you can you can have another whiteboard if you want another whiteboard. Um, that adds a, an extra layer to it, but you're probably going to have to do the same thing backwards yeah, here. Right. Rubber's there. There's pen over there. Right, everyone, we've we've got a second judge. How exciting! Wait, so am I judging your music? It's not my st- what well, I oh. can't be playing my stuff right now. It's is their favourite songs. Oh, so right. they're commenting their favourite song. I'm picking out some of the songs. And, uh, yeah, sorry, I have to do the mess. Um, and then we're dissecting them only slightly. Typically, I would probably have about six or seven different layers to a song, but I've gone for the three easiest ones, really. Um, do you know what? While you do that, we'll listen to Places to Be by Fred again. Honestly, this might be one of the highest rated ones from me so far just because all round it is utterly phenomenal this song um, I'm just going to see if this is a bit interesting <laughs> skip to the best bit of the song because this is quite a long song uh, i've already written down my score just because i know the song well enough um but yeah sorry you guys are saying you can't hear us admittedly when the song's playing uh i mean i'll, I'll play it quieter in general to be fair because we don't unless it's like a banger and i need to turn out but um oh i need to see the numbers as well, yeah it's a bit of a shitter but it is what it is makes it more visual so this, this is the best bit of the song for me, just because of the build up and like, there's not even like that much lyrically going on. It's just a feel good song, this one.
that enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so um, I think, yeah, we're, we're actually pretty similar except from one department. So uh, I've gone for nine, eight, ten. Um, I've only, and, and you know what, in a weird way, if you want to show yours, I kind of agree with your lyrics rating in a way. I wouldn't go that low. Mm -hmm. However, the only reason I've bumped the lyrics up for me is just because of, regardless of how because they are actually a little bit bad, especially the, hello, I got places I to be, like me next to you, and you next to, there, yeah, they it's know it's a it's nine. A uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it is actually really lazy lyric writing. However, it's feel-good lyric writing. Yeah. So you can't, at the end of the day, they are writing those lyrics for the purpose of what they've been written, rather than them yeah, actually being bad lyrics, if you know what I mean. So that's why I've bumped that up. But... Um, okay, so that got a score of 27 from me, probably like... 24. 24 from Leo. Tough critic over here. We've got a Simon Cowell in the building. Um, well, I agreed with you on the, on the melody and the production. No, no, the, you're the more, you, you are... I mean, I, I've not listened to the whole so song. So welcome to your opinion. Like, that is... I, I've not listened to the whole song, but... That, you're not, you're not being the, judged. the same lyrics, like... Just over and over again. They were okay. fine lyrics. There's nothing wrong with them, but... Okay, next song then. Um, let's try and go for something a bit more new. Um... Uh, what we got? What we got? And that one looked interesting. Um, what was it? Where was it? Where was it? I've lost it. How about you guys comment far too quick? It's ridiculous. I'm so annoyed. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep looking then. Um, oh, that's that's a very rogue one. What was it called? You've gone past it. It was Won't Be Here by Finn and Mary or something like that. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna type that in and hope for the best. Won't be here. Finn. Hey! Okay, so I think we've got a very underground song. Not in terms of like club music and that, just not, possibly not well known. I mean, let's look at their Spotify. Two monthly listeners. Two. Damn. This. This might be the song of the live stream. I am excited for this. This is their only song. And it's five minutes long. I'm, I'm going to feel bad if it's bad. Here <laughs> we go. This is what I did this live stream for. Imagine if it's the best song we've ever heard. Yeah, but if it's not good, I'm going to feel really bad for giving it a bad <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, I don't care. Listeners. I don't care. I'm the third monthly listener. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And then Finn and Mary are the two. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> it's Finn and Mary. Your shadow leaves me incomplete Now I feel A pain that's meant to set me free And now I see I'm not offended by it! No, yeah. This world was made for us to see Was never meant for you and me. My head and my heart are torn apart. All the lies and the games you play weren't fair on my heart. Thoughts of your twisted.
Finn and Mary, fair fucks. Like, cause, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really harsh in terms of like my rankings. However, the only one that I'm properly gonna be marking down is production, cause the production isn't great. But in terms of melody, I could, I could hear all of those melodies on a massive song. So. I, like I, I'm gonna start out melody really strong. Um, yeah, we'll go for that for melody. Lyrics, lyrics could probably do with quite a bit of work, to be fair. And then, but genuinely, please don't take this in like a bat because I am, and I don't know if this was like Finn and Mary that suggested the song. If so, and if you are watching, crack on because you're on to something. Absolutely. Don't let this score reflect it because obviously this is competing with literally the best artists in the world. I'm not going to, you know, do it in comparison thing. I've been suggested songs. I'm going to rate them how I'd rate them. Melody wise, eight. Lyrics are four and production are two. But to get 14 out of the 30 is pretty, especially in the melody section, like very... Um, like, Fair I'm play. actually, I massively disagree with you. I really liked the production. Really? Yeah, so it, it, it was simple. Because of how folky well. it, was. It, it was. It was done well, which is what I was Let me have another listen. I might, I might bump it up. Um, I, and I, I do like more sort of simple acoustic songs as well. It's sort of, do you know what I mean by it? It's giving like Adventure Time vibes. A little bit, yeah. See like, uh, what's it? Like yes. exactly, if you if you saw like a cartoon character just sort of peacefully singing this song in like a forest or in a TV show, I'd be like, "Yo, that's really yeah. like nice." I, I I did like the song though. But two yeah, is too I, harsh. I, I, agree, right. I agree with you on the lyrics. No, lyrics. you're right. Two is too harsh. I'm gonna bump that. Up. I am actually. I'm gonna bump that up quite a bit. To I don't know how to do a backwards five, so I'm just <laughs> just written five. Um, so that actually gives it overall uh, 70. 17 from me. Um, 20 20 is big. So yeah, fair fair play, Finn and Mary. That that it's is on. you're absolutely on something there. Um, alrighty. So what are we doing next then? Um, <clears throat> Leo, do you want to pick one? Oh, I thought you meant. Oh, I've, for a to be I fair, you can actually pick. you can pick a song that you're listening to as well. We'll start. Yeah, we'll do one from them first, and then we'll go to you. Okay. Um, what was that? Uh, I think I've lost it. It was like it was. By this one looks fun. Hang on. Where was it? Oh Christ! It's yeah. This is really difficult to. It was, it's it was, so it was, hard to I think navigate. It was Cry by Benson Bohr. Oh, Benson Boone. Boone. I saw a Kanye West one and got oh, excited. I saw that, I saw that, I saw that actually, yeah. What was the Kanye West one? All right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that. Because we don't need to see ourselves. That's a thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, God, it moves really quickly. Yeah, it does. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how I do it. All right, so we'll do, we'll do Cry by Benson Boone. Um, I it's like. Oh. <sighs> It's not working. Um, Cry, Benson. All right. Yeah, I like Benson. I think he's a phenomenal performer. Um, I've not actually heard of this guy. Really good lyrically. I would prefer his melodies to be slightly different sometimes, but that's probably one of my only notes. Um, yeah, let's do it. I tried to hide it through the silence while I played along I'm welling up behind the island when I'm holding on to the rain But I feel like that might be so badly Yeah, I think vocals is actually a bit too harsh a one to do because everyone's so different in terms of vocals So... That doesn't feel right to What? What is happening in this song? I like it I like drugs on the internet by loud. Like yeah, stuff. I must admit, if it had carried on like it had, we probably would have got bored. We were already yeah. talking about something else.
I think people are going to think I'm a bit weird for saying this, but that melody mm. and like the way it's sort of da, 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 is like yeah. My Chemical Romance. That wasn't what I was thinking. It might not have been what you were thinking, you. but the style that he's doing, it's like a poppy My Chemical it's, Romance. It's the song I'm thinking of, I've not heard it in so long and I can't place it, but it, it, it's gone like right to the depths of my memory. Yeah, that one. <laughs> what is it? What is it? I don't know, bro. Um, That's gonna bug me for the rest of one of these. We've got too many to get through. Can I have one? Yeah, man. Bro, Brian, I love you, but we can't get through the amount of drinks you're sending us. We have so many greats of it. Does anyone want free prize? <laughs> Okay, wait, can uh, you put, put the song back on for a second? Yeah, so I, can... I was gonna do that. I don't think we've got to the chorus yet. Ooh, ooh, that was nice. Let me go back to that. I wasn't impressed by that. I want to skip to the last bit and see if it goes any bigger. Because if it does, that saves it. But if it doesn't... Sorry, that's... I, I really like that. Really? Yeah, I, I think I might start listening to this guy. Oh, no, his other stuff's really good. Like, genuinely, it might, like, I, I do like a lot of his other stuff. There's, there was one, one of his really big ones really irked me for a while, and I don't know why. Um, there was one I really liked. Uh, I'll show you the one I really liked, and then I can't remember what the other one was called, but... Actually, let me just go on his account because it'll probably be. Yeah, so beautiful things. And I really don't have a leg to stand on here because it's got a billion streams. But I really don't like beautiful things. Okay. Because it, it, it's the one that goes, These beautiful things oh, I've got. Okay, yes. I do know this guy. Stay. And I'm like, yeah. See, I'd never heard his name before. Do you, I, do you know I, what? I know and I, I, I'll, I'll go back on what I've said a little bit because the I want you, I need you, oh God. That's a really nice melody. Yeah. But it's the eh, I don't know how yeah. I feel about I, it. I, I think that having just listened to those two songs, it seems like he uses that a lot. Just yeah. Like but, but you're gonna because, yeah. you know, that's his sound at the end of the yeah. day. So it's like fair play, but I actually don't like when he does <clears> that. I prefer so there's one I think it's slow it down um, I never met yeah this one this morning, melody is so nice I invite you to the party and you walked in with those green eyes never stolen by I will nobody. rate that previous song in a second by the way I'm just the future, educating this little melody <laughs> <moment, laughs> <I'm picture, laughs> it's still a little to me we're talking <laughs> on the staircase about your big dreams on the big screens and enjoy it just keeps climbing I, I love the climb of the song like 
So you can't patent it, but um, yeah. So I'm not rating that song because I, I do really like that song. That would actually have a very high rating. rating. Cry, <laughs> the one before Cry. Um, the production's fine. I, I'm gonna give it an average seven. Uh, lyrics. Well, to, I mean, to be fair, if you're, if you're saying average, if you're gonna be objective, average is five. Yes, average is five. But I would actually lean towards if I was rating it five, five would actually be a. a an average song. It's not an average okay. song because, you know, it's actually a deep... If, if you're thinking uh, about what I rated the uh, guitar, nice plucky one, I, I still need to give that a seven because yeah. the production okay. is just so much better. Um, Lyrics-wise on Cry, I wasn't massively sold, so I'm going to give it a six. Uh, melody, again, I'll probably give a seven, so... Yeah. That's we're my... Not, we're not too dissimilar. I had nine, six, eight. Gotcha. So I, I really like the melody. I that is that is a seven on your board. It is. is it? <laughs> Nine, six, oh, it's an eight. No, oh, it's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, I, I was yeah. Leo goes to private education. Everyone, just so you know. Hey, I uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So glad we did that. Cause, yeah, Benson's great. Um, he is, well, am I he's a good artist. Now, then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you want, let's do um, that. So. We're going I'm to take not, a song from Leo for a second, everyone. So I'm not gonna, calm down. It's okay. We'll get I'm, back I'm to you. I'm not going to say, like, my favourite song. I, I don't even thank know what my favourite song Thank you for the potato, Autumn. Thank, thank, thank you for the potato. <laughs> that is a sentence that I just said. <laughs> Give it to our appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the song? Um, so it's, it's someone who I've just, like, fairly recently found out makes music and... This can't be good. Generally, <laughs> generally, I find that their songs are quite Thank you, Abby hit or miss. So from the, from this album, there are three out of like ten or twelve that I think are any good. Okay. Um, but the three that I like, I do think are quite good. So I'm gonna say my favorite one of them, which is "The Medicine" by Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner, as in Hawkeye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where my mind went. Okay, yeah. I'm excited now. This is a good pitch. Uh The Medicine. Yeah, so the album's called The Medicine and the first song on it is The Medicine. Oh well he doesn't come up first, unfortunately. Um There he is. There he is. Uh okay. Well here we go. Jeremy Renner, musician. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Fair he's got, play. He's got a really nice voice actually. Fair play! I did not expect that. This will be fun. This is no, you can write. This is Hawkeye from the Marvel films, everyone. You and I will go lost and only hope we will grow. Thank you. 
there anything more interesting than that? No, it's it's fairly <laughs> similar though. No, and it's fine because I'm I'm happy with him being like Can a chill vibe. But huh? Did I just have a hat? You on? may have had a hat on. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you may get some other things pop up on okay. your head now that you've said that, so beware. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but, yeah, so I, I, I do like chill music like this. I'm obviously not going to play Thank You, Autumn. Um, not going to play the full thing because I don't want to, you know, bore people too much because it's not their type of music. I would have liked for it to maybe have a bit more going on with the track itself. Um, I think the melodies were nice, but didn't stand out, if you know what I mean. Yeah. He has got a really nice voice. It's actually a shame that we're not ranking on voice because he would get a high score for that. However, what I will say overall in the other segments, it just it is a bit of an average song, if you know what yeah. I mean. But it, for, for Jeremy Renner, like, I do wish I could sort of give comparison points because fair play, actor and singer. Um, production... Production is actually weirdly probably going to be the highest score because um, I think they did, though there wasn't like loads going on, they did a really good job of like filling the space and making it, you know, sound the way it was meant to sound. Um, so I'm yeah, gonna, I mean, obviously I'm biased because it's a song that I like, so yeah, it's yeah. quite a high score. No, that's fair enough. But what, what I would say is that, um, like, so like I said, I only like really three of the songs on this album. Um my main issue with the other ones is the lyrics. They are, without, you know, being too mean, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you, you saved him there. <laughs> He'll feel okay about that. He ain't watching this, don't worry. Um, right. God, imagine if he was. <laughs> uh, little bit harsh, but I re- respect to him because, you know, he's an actor as well. So I've, I, uh, I've gone 6-6-8, six, six, uh, which that gives him an overall score of 18. Um, Twenty. I've done. I've done my maths horribly. Sorry. I yeah. No. Mine horrible. Is, I'm just gonna double check now. Uh, five. Yeah, five. Twenty. Twenty-five. Nine. Nine. Seven. Twenty-five. Yeah. So, yeah. so my so twenty. I, I. I. I've actually put production lower than you. Twenty. Because um, I, I. I think the production is. It, the production's good, but not much happens. And I. I do like that. You know the. Do do do. Um, yeah, I'm with you on that. I genuinely think the only reason I did that was because I knew how low I was going for these. So I wanted something to... Because it, it, it's not a bad song in any way. Like, yeah. it is... And actually, I did I did have eight written down at first and then sort of thought about it a bit longer and decided to put it down. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Back to you guys. We've got a song suggestion from the comments coming in. Um, There's a lot of like Billie Eilish that I've seen suggested. Yeah, I mean, if 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 we can go with something a little bit more yeah. up tempo, we've had some we've had some relatively God, slow I, ones. I just saw I just saw Herbie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard Magic. Uh, I, I was I was so tempted, but I I didn't because of how long of a spiel I did before I talked about Jeremy Renner. Um, I was so tempted to make a joke and go my my favorite song at the moment. Stuck on the ceiling by Max <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good for that one. Um, <laughs> no, oh, because I was just talking to a pool about this on the way back from Manchester. Mm-hmm. Um, when you posted that thing on the boat saying some of your favourite songs have been written on this boat on Instagram, I looked at the comments trying to like work out what you meant by that, see if anyone knew, and someone in the comments, I can only imagine genuinely meant this, said... So was stuck on the ceiling written on that boat. <laughs> yeah, no, it was not. Um, and also, so f- funnily enough, because we, so we haven't written anything on that boat so yes. far. So I was saying that as a pretty widespread um, comment, but uh, we will, we will be writing songs on that boat. So is that, is uh, that a done deal now? Be... So I've been sort of given a small amount of information from Paul. About I what that is. am not at liberty to discuss on such a. We're being very It's just a, a yes or no for me. <laughs> um. Yes, uh, is the simple answer. Okay, but there is more to that. Yes. Um. Anyway, what I want something up. Stone I want roses. something upbeat. Everyone. That's all stone roses. I like stone roses. Okay. Man- Mancunian band as well. Alrighty. I can't say I've heard of the stone roses. You know that United shirt I have that's like lemons and green. Lemons and green. <laughs> yeah. Have you... Uh, no, you've not gone past it yet. Mm. It moves so fast. 
And then, oh, and then I just, because that, that glitch it. there, I just don't know what's happened. Karma by Jojo Siwa. Fellas, okay. what was the song okay. by the Stone Roses? What were we going for? Someone comment it again. Wait, can you look up the Stone Roses there? Because it might be one of the like top five ones. Because I'll, I'll, I'll know it when I see it. Okay. But I only saw it for like a brief second. What was the song we wanted, everyone? Oh, this yeah, is, it's top one. I want to be adored. This is it, not it is, it's that, be upbeat, it's that is it? pattern at the top. Um, the, this. Yeah, that is on my United shirt. Alrighty, here we go. <clears throat> Good start. Lots of noise. <clears throat> Remastered, was it remastered in 2009 yeah. or from 2009? In, in 2009. That one is this band. It's another band, it's like Oasis. Okay. Age, I think. What, what is, this? so this one was on my head before, what did that say? It said something. I didn't see. I'm not close enough to the screen to read it. Is this the whole song? <laughs> I mean, it's got 145 Enjoy, million skip streams. A bit. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. <laughs> It's gonna be a really harsh score here because. Oh no! It's so old. It's old yeah. But. I can't really do that right now. No, I know. Well, I might be able to actually. Well, I was going to say, it's on my yeah, well, it's... laptop. Yeah. What? To, uh, to where? To WhatsApp? Yeah. Follow it. Oh, Christ. Um, I've not got WhatsApp Follow loaded there, actually, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I can show you mine if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to be able to do it. It's great content. Um, it's great content. <laughs> How interesting <laughs> is, is interesting? Well, look at this. Just record this. That's that's impressive. Shit, what do I do? What? Wait, did they did it? they watch this happen? Just, I yeah. Describe what you're watching. <laughs> you're watching this. I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> I just looked at the comments and saw Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> Oi, so. I'm a little bit. Basically, in what we're watching right now is Harvey's gone to Spain and he's watched a car flip on its side and he is the first responder to said car that has flipped on its side. Oh my god. Uh, airbag's gone off. Uh, car is. But they've turned their hazards on. Probably which written is what's off. important. Uh, they, we, um, with help, she was retrieved from the car, apparently. So this happened a few minutes ago. Christ. So it looks like she's all right. Yeah. That's quite a corker. That's quite an introduction to Spain. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. I love that Harvey started filming before trying to call the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like quick. A true social media child. Yeah, I did think oh, that as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so like, no, no, don't do anything. <laughs> the problem is, the problem Film is, me admittedly, <laughs> C wouldn't have been very useful. No, that's so true. Yeah. it's like, <laughs> give her the phone and then <laughs> do what needs to be done, I suppose. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, wow, okay. Oh. Stone Roses, what do we think? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to listen to them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my days. Stone Roses are a massive band in, back in the 80s. Okay, they? promise Manchester. me that you're not going to hang around after this one. I, I, I beg, I can't, I can't I'll deal I'll, with I'll, the pain. I'll you to play. Um, oh, right. Tell me right.
150 million streams? Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> okay. Um, it seems that there's some lyrical integrity there. Um, yeah, I'd say that was probably about mid-80s that came out. Melody. Do, do you wildly disagree? Actually, I might bump that up one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to do production for its time because I think it is harsh to compare it to production nowadays. Yeah, and that's why I said that. Um, so I will actually score it somewhat higher, but actually, again, from what I've heard from back in day, it can't get any higher than that. Um, and that's out of ten for each, obviously. So yeah. seventeen. It gets a score off, yeah, which I mean I actually it, is me being nice because I, I genuinely didn't enjoy yeah. that. But I'm just I, trying. To... I did. I did quite like it. Um, Crystal, Crystal never Tw- taught you again. Twenty one was, was my was score. Fine. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I thought the lyrics were really good. I mean, we didn't hear much of them, but they, you know, they weren't basic like some of the others have been. Yeah. Um, the the production, yeah. I mean, it's a song from the eighties remastered and uh, for what fifteen years ago. Um, and then Melody, yeah, was fine, but a bit bland. <clears throat> well, thanks for suggesting that one, everyone. Um, let's move on to something more upbeat, please, because that was depressing. Uh, thank you for your time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Um, Say bye to Paul, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Um, right, let's let's get something like proper proper upbeat. Let's let's go. Oh, here we go. That looked good. Uh, Violent Dreams by Kanye West, something like that. Was that what it was? Violent Dreams. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I, I, I saw I saw a artist in there called Flort or Flut Flut. I assume Swedish, like F L O with an M L O U R T. Oh. I think whoever commented that meant violent crimes. Maybe I maybe I maybe read it wrong. It. Um, right. Violent, dreaming. Oh, I've heard this. Talking in your sleep. I know you want to cry all night. Oh, plotting, scheming, finding. Reason to defend all of your fire nights. I miss you. Don't you go up in a hurry. Your mom will be worried. Oh, it was all part of the story. Even the scary nights. Thank you for all of your glory. You will be remembered. Oh, thank you to all of the Niggas is savage, niggas is monsters, niggas is pimps, niggas is players. To niggas had daughters, now they precautious. Father, forgive me, I'm scared of the karma. Cause now I see women as something to nurture, not something to conquer. I hope she like Nikki, I make her a monster. Now having menages, I'm just being silly, I answer the door like what's Smith and Martin. Nigga, do we have a problem? Matter of fact, Marlin. This ain't me the Farkas I beat his ass, pray I beat the charges No daddy don't play, not when it, it comes to the, the danger she in Moment of silence, next shit be off the collars And then at the altar, cause she know that niggas is savage Niggas is monsters, niggas is pimps, niggas is players To niggas have daughters, I'm, I'm gonna niggas is to pimps <laughs> No, but it, like, it's so uncreative. No, I know, I know, but you can't mark the lyrics. <laughs> it's, it's so uncreative. It's, it's literally every other word. I know, I know. I know, and because we can't sing it, <laughs> it means it's down a few pegs, but... Why, um, why do I have to keep it, then? <laughs> no, I was joking. Yeah. I was joking. Yeah, I'm being a down one. And, uh, oh. and I'll, I'll, I'll reveal first this Oh, time. God. Um, it is, I liked it. 
It's not. It was, it's nowhere near it as best fine. song. I've got I've, yeah. I've gone five six six. So yeah, the, the I lyrics. Was... I've shared my, my thoughts on the lyrics already. Um, they. I thought until then they were quite good. Um, they were like creative. They were fairly clever. Um, but he clearly ran out of ideas towards the end. I've actually gone seven five six. Okay. Um, so I, re- I did really like the melody. I thought the, the melody was the melody nice. was just a bit samey. A, a little bit, melody. yeah. But but then he does do enough with the chords around the melody to sort of change up how you feel when. And I always think that's really clever. Is when the chord does even the same melody <laughs> yeah. so much different justice. I'm like, yeah, fair play, because you've you, you you found a really nice new chord progression to go with that same melody. So, um, respect where respect's due, but it's not his best song. So, what's that like? Eleven, eighteen, eighteen. It's not bad. It's only one point better than the last one, I think. So, yeah. um, what did, what did I get at seventeen? Um, yeah. Um, okay, let. <laughs> We have not had an upbeat one in so long. I'm going to play one of my own songs. Yeah, not as yeah. in mine, but like, I, you know what? I'm going to have, yeah. Your I'm going to have my own choice. Uh, and it's going to be, because I actually don't straight, think straight I've done this on a live stream. Well, yeah, of course. If it's a song I like, it's going to be in yeah. a playlist. Um, have you heard this song, Tangerine Rays by Zed? No. It is going to change your life. And okay. you know what I'm also going Trust. to do? You I'm actually set the bar high. Okay, it, might not, it might not change your life. But... What I'm also going to do is then cue the song that's underneath it, and we don't actually have to rate that next song, but I just want you to hear its transition and then what it then goes into, because Zed's new album is phenomenal. There are some songs that are a little bit shit, but most of them are phenomenal. Um, So yeah, here we go. This is Tangerine Rays. What's this? I don't don't know. I pay it no attention ever. (laughs) I'm aware. Yeah, so I'll, I'll actually skip it a little bit just so we can get to the... I'm not going to play this whole song. It's quite a long song. Um, I'm just going to skip to the last bit and then let you guys hear the transition because it's so sick.
playing Sorry Star, which you can kind of tell, but it goes together so seamlessly. And I'll just, uh, <laughs> I will show you this as well. Hang on. The only reason I got so hyped by this song was because I listened to the album in order yeah, and then when yeah. those two went together so well I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what am I actually listening to? Anyway, we're only marking that first song that we listened to, which was phenomenal. Best score of today, 29 out of 30. I think it could do with a little bit of work on the lyrics, but melody and production, I genuinely don't think there's anything they could have done different. So, for me, I'm quite similar largely, but I gave it a 23 Ooh, because lyrics I only understood down bad. I only said about half the lyrics. Yeah, is that sort of because you couldn't hear them properly or as in they didn't make sense? Uh, like the, the way they were sung, I couldn't understand what they were saying. Yes, no, and I do agree with you. And the, the, the lyrics I didn't understand were quite good, but because... Yeah. And I would have given them an eight, but because I li I genuinely understood less than half of the lyrics, I'm 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 with it. you on that. And the thing the problem is is with that type of song because if if the lyrics are too over pronounced pronounced, um, I was going to say pronunciated, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> they sort of have to hide little bits of them in fear of it not sounding as cool with the production if you get what i'm saying so it does have to be embedded at points and then you do lose the actual lyrics but obviously the, yeah. me the melody is still there peeking over kind of yeah thing. i guess but then so you know, i i give benefit free. of the doubt because i know why he's done that however you are right to say that because that is what it is but um yeah i i would still sort of not really change mine because i've listened close enough and know what the lyrics are roughly okay um it's getting close to me needing to eat uh but we'll do a couple more i'll say we'll do three more um and they'll all be from you guys fortunately um let's get some really good songs oh, i like set it off I, I think it was creating monsters by set it off i just saw okay I, I think I'm thinking of sorry, people still not typing. So correct. Creator. Oh, so it's creating monsters by nice. set it off. Yeah. Okay. What type okay. of music is this? Um, if it's the person I'm thinking of, it's like quite hard rock, Virgil. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Um, right. This is not my type of music, so I will be fair, but... I kind of like the bounciness of it already. I see the floor. I hear the scream. Oh, this haunting habit never leaves. A fingerprint. A smoking gun. But the body counts climbing like one, two, one, two, three. Graveyard sleeps beneath my feet. I love that dong dong gong 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 dong gong dong 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 gong 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 dong dong. That is a really cool. I don't think I've heard that bassline before. The rest of the song, like it, yeah, it does remind me a bit of Panic at the Disco for sure. 
Um, so I, I've not listened to this song. The, the <laughs> song I know best by Set It Off is called Punching Bag, which I really like. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't a massive fan of that one, but I still think it was decent. Yeah, no. So, a couple things. We've, we've varied a lot on this. I, I get the feeling, and that's fine. I'm happy with that because, you know, different perspectives. Um, I get the feeling it might not <clears throat> be intended particularly to be played off of these types of studio speakers. I'm assuming they, they're expecting people to either listen through headphones or like a JBL speaker or whatever. And unfortunately, the production just doesn't work on these speakers. Sometimes that happens... I've had to mark it down because that's what we're listening to it through. Uh, lyrically, similar to Leo in the last one, I couldn't hear a lot of the lyrics and the ones that I could hear, I wasn't really that much of a fan of. They didn't offend me massively, but it was a little bit... I don't know how to explain yeah. it. Like um, like a Five Nights at Freddy's parody song. <laughs> Are you thinking Living Tombstone? Yeah, yeah. Living Tombstone, exactly. Um, it was that... A really good musician, actually. I've listened to it. Yeah, no, and I, I don't deny that. However, it, uh, there's something yeah. something a bit iffy. Uh, the mean, melody I... was bumped up because of that bass line. Literally, the bass line saved it in terms of melody. Otherwise, I would have been like, absolutely not. What I... were you going to say? For me, I think because I listen to this kind of music more than you do, I found it far easier to hear the lyrics. And I, they were okay. So I've... I've given it six eight six. Um, so the production, uh, I, th I think you've been a bit harsh. I, um, obviously, <laughs> you're, you're like saying about the speakers and that, and that's sure fine. But um, I'm like <clears throat> reflecting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think the production's fine. Let me listen it's, to it's the production special. one more time. Let me give it one um, more time. <laughs> music. So yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna. Um, Do you know what? I'm sold. I will bump up the production. I don't think I'm yeah, gonna bump I've, up the lyrics. I've, I've just bumped up the production. But actually, I really liked that melody because of that bit as Very well. Down. We'll stay at six because that was a nice little bit. That's actually brought it up to so a genuine six, not just the baseline. That's bass a twenty-one line. for me. Uh, um, production. I really like that little breakdown. Okay, change score. We've gone twelve. You've got 16. sixteen. Yeah. I've got. It's not a terrible score. It's not. Um, it just isn't my type of music, unfortunately. Um, but like I say, I am trying to be as unbiased as possible in terms of like what I actually think of just how they've done writing that type of song. There is, you know, the slightest bit of bias in there because I don't like <clears throat> that. But um, what else we got? We got two more songs, everyone. I Make sure they're good ones. Like the... um, what was it? It was uh, overcompensated by Twenty One Pilots. No, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's why. I yeah, say, I, I, just, I want to... some stuff I've not heard. Yeah. Um... I'm going back to five oh five. If it's seven now, fly to. Uh, do you know what? I've been seeing this one quite a bit. I'm going to go for Novocaine by Frank Ocean because I don't think I've heard it. Uh, I thought I thought you were going to say a different one then. I I, I mean I, I I really like Frank Ocean as well actually, but. Uh, <coughs> Well, so here's the thing. Song called Nova King. I have a bit of an issue with Frank Ocean. I have an issue with Frank Ocean and Lana Del Rey because of their attitudes towards this industry. They are, in my opinion, and I'm happy for the opinion to be changed, but just based on things that they've done and, and actions that they've taken and ways they've responded to said actions, I, I think they're both rather disrespectful for the amount of money they're being paid Fair enough. to do I a job. You absolutely nothing about them personally <clears throat> fair enough uh they essentially on multiple occasions at, at many like festivals and their own performances that they've done have either not turned up turned up uh given shoddy performances turned up horrifically late uh which is not only especially yeah, in a festival scenario this this applies more to lana not only in a festival like it's bad enough turning up late even if it was your own show However, at a festival, you're then affecting literally everyone else. And I mean, fair enough if they just pull her off early because 
you know, they have to do what they have to do. But also a lot of people are then going to complain because, oh, they didn't get to see it, Lana's full performance. And then the festival gets blamed for yeah. pulling them off. And I'm like, don't blame the fucking festival. She knew her slot months in advance. So if she's not there, that's on her. No matter what, unless someone's died, genuinely. And that is like where I'm like, fine, you're allowed. She was doing her hair. <laughs> Fuck that. Sorry, yeah. ran over. Um, and Frank Ocean, he had something at Coachella that, again, was pretty disrespectful, and he's done it on multiple occasions. So that's my opinions on them as people. I'm sure they're both great musicians, because otherwise people wouldn't love them. So, but it is what it is. Here's Novocaine by Frank Ocean. <laughs> It's quite a long song, to be yeah. fair. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to listen to the full five minutes every time, but I'm not going to let that affect the score because that's not what we're marking yeah, on. I mean, I mean, like I said, I really like Frank Ocean. He's a great musician. Yeah, um, honestly, haven't heard such good lyrics so far. So, fair play to him on the lyrics. Um, I, I thought, like, the, the melody and the production, honestly, the lyrics carry it, genuinely. Um, the melody and production are both good, but they're not like yeah. life changing, in my opinion. Yeah, so I've, we've agreed on two. I've put production a little bit lower. And I was actually going to go lower on production because, as well. Because um, it was good, but it was a bit. I, I would like more variation. It was all just. Dum, 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 I'm going to change my production score because I, I literally was going to go lower, but then the, I thought, oh no, I'm being too harsh. But for that song specifically, <laughs> Like, I'm only going to go one point less because I think six is actually a little harsh because they, they've still created a really nice sound is yeah. the overall and thing. And there, there were some really good parts of the production that brought that up, but if it, the main bit of it was the do, 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 the whole way through and mm. it just got a bit greater. No, I get you. Yeah, I get you. So, from me, that is uh, 25. 25. And from Leo... 24. 24. Okay, very similar on that one. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. That one has actually gone in my playlist because I, I, I haven't really listened to much Frank Ocean, to be honest. Uh, I know Chanel, obviously, but uh, who doesn't? Yeah, so the, the, the one, my favourite Frank Ocean song is Lost, which is right there. Gotcha. I um, mean... Let me just have a quick listen to that. I know that song. Um, now you're lost. Um, one more song, everyone. Let's make it a good one. And actually, I'll do one more, and then I'll do one of mine again, because I'm selfish like that. Um, 
But I just want to make sure we end on something good because if we like slating someone at the end, then I'll feel bad. Can, can I can I add one more in there? Because I just want, I want to know your opinion on a right. song that I don't really listen to much. Anymore. Let's do this. One more of theirs. Oh no, actually, no. Let's do yours first. Okay. Let's do yours first. It, it's not one that I've listened to in a while. And I don't remember what the artist's name is, but the song is called Champagne and Cocaine. Okay. I forgot how to spell it. I think I got it. And as in ampersand or I uh just just go go with the word and for now. I think it might be an ampersand though. But yeah. But Half an orange. Half an orange. Here we go. What kind of song is this? I don't know how to categorize Let's that. Let's just play. <laughs> <laughs> You were just a criminal with a thoughtful master plan To steal my heart still beating in the palm of your hand I was just a throwaway, a hand-me-down affair A stray you found a taken, but then leave before you can Changing one. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, do you want me to turn my board round? Yeah. It's not terrible. Uh, I really like the production, especially the sort of the wow, wow, wow pulsing. I just feel the only reason it didn't get 10 is because it's missing some tightness at the top. Okay. Like, it does feel a little like some of the instruments are bleeding into each other. Um, lyrics wise, I was, it, it's like a, it's a catchy thing that anyone could sing along to. So that's sort of why I bumped it up a little. Cause I was like in a similar way to, uh, what did I say that about earlier? Um, I don't remember. Fred again song. No. Hello, I got places to be. Yeah. In a similar way of like, it just needs to be a simple sort of like, that's clearly what they were writing for. I'm not going to yeah. dock it. Cause actually it's not the best lyrics in the world. But it's a nice listen. And then Melody, actually, I thought was the worst of the three. Yeah, the fair enough. I've, I've got the same, actually, but not quite. What, what did you change out of interest? So I've, I've got seven for Melody, nine for the others. I had Melody as seven, I think. Okay. And I put it down to six when right. I listened to the second half. So we, we were pretty similar then, uh, until then. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a total of uh, 23. 25. So yeah, that's not not bad. Not a bad song. All right, so final one from you guys. Here we go. Yeah, uh, one had, more song to please, everyone. To make an agreement on something. Yeah, every, everyone decide on a song together. You must all pick one <laughs> song and I want it being the only thing commented. <laughs> They're just not going to do yeah. There's just no way. Um... Uh, let's try and go for something like Fleet really Wooden abstract. Um, I'm seeing a lot of very like mainstream ones, like mainstream artists. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I just, I'm just not gonna do Harry Styles or Taylor <laughs> Swift. Like, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna keep it completely real with you. Um, yeah, I've, I've like... heard radio has played enough of Harry Styles yeah. and Taylor Swift. That is not the purpose of this. Um, uh, I've seen a lot of um, Sour Diesel by Zayn as well, which... Mm. Like, yeah, again, Zayn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zayn, like, I get it. Um... <laughs> J 
just like heaven, the cure. I that's... saw that one as well. Yeah. Only because... I don't think I've heard this song. Ha! Huh. There's a Tom Mish song that I've not heard. I think I that's might do this one. Okay. Just because... Yeah, it, it, like I like Tom Mish, yeah, and same. I think this is going to go potentially down a good route if someone's. So we've got Disco Yes, which Who's is a really weird person? name. Poppy, Poppy Ajuda. Okay. Um, yeah, Tom Mish, phenomenal artist. He actually holds the title, not that this means anything to him, uh, of Max's favorite song ever. Ooh. So it is literally is? Water Baby. Okay. By Tom Mish. Just everything about that. Like, I think genuinely that gets tens all around from me for pretty much every category I can think of, which is it's just never since I started listening to it, it's never changed from my favorite songs. So um, like I always have current favorite songs that I'll yeah. listen to more at the time. But when I think back to something, it always goes back to that. So. Disco Yes, Tom Mish. It's the last one from you guys. Thank you, everyone, for playing along. We will do this another time. Don't be upset if we didn't do your song. Um, that's just life. This is all free. Grow up. But when he says <laughs> not more likely... Yeah, Leo might not be here, but I might recruit someone else because this, this has been fun. Thank you, Leo. Um, all right, here we go. Interesting start. <laughs> So I was I was sort of teetering on the melody because that really 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 strong. However, the vocal melodies have minus the point, okay. a singular point. So we I I think we've actually got a different definition of melody. I've just realised because I'm going off of like a. So obviously I'm classically trained. Mm -hmm. um, melody. <laughs> Just throw that one in there. Obviously, <laughs> I'm classically trained. All right. Most of them. Go on then. 
Melody <laughs> Mel- Mel- is just the the very top. So it is just the the vocal melody. Is what I class as melody. Yeah, but so and this is the thing because I'm with you on that. But for something like Tom Mish, when you're judging Tom Mish, you have to also. See, that's why I'm putting he's... production though. No, no, because the, the production doesn't matter. He has come up with that riff that is the banana. But I'm, I'm, I'm calling that part of the production. I mean, you know more about how the actual production actually works than I do, so I've been. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. Well, it's totally fine to see it that way. But the, the, just to explain the way I'm seeing it is that is a lead of that song. So anything that's like a lead melody, which yeah. that guitar riff absolutely Fair is, enough, yeah. is like. That's what you're listening to at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, I I love Tom Mish. I think, and this is so to give you because it might confuse you on the production because actually overall, when you compare to other people's productions, it's technically not that impressive when you're listening to it. But if you actually realise the instruments they're recording and the sound they're getting out of all those instruments is like pretty much the best you can possibly get, it has to be a ten because no one else is able... Well, I say no one else. There are other people that are able to do it, but a lot of people aren't able to get anywhere near that. Uh, lyrics, I thought, could have done with maybe a bit of work, but they're normally quite good. Um, and Melody was a nine just because of the vocal melodies not quite being as strong as that main guitar riff, essentially. So, go on. All right. So, I I had Melody at six, lyrics at three. Mm-hmm. I thought the lyrics were really, really basic, and I so I thought they started off well, and then did go down a bit of a rabbit hole of random shit. <clears throat> so I'm I'm kind of with like you on they, that. Like they, they, yeah, they sounded like lyrics I would write, and that is an insult. I would tell you. <laughs> <lyrics. laughs> um, Thanks for clearing that one up. <laughs> I I am god awful at lyrics. The, the production was great. I really liked the production. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, the the vocal melody specifically were like left a bit to be desired, and I didn't like the lyrics at all. I'm with you on that, and I potentially could actually be swayed to put the lyrics down a little bit because, like I said, they did go down just a a bit of a rabbit hole of saying stuff for the sake of saying it. It was just oh, I love you, I miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blah blah blah. Like it, I I, I, I will was, still no stand by. Ones. It started really strong. Like I liked what he came in with. But then it did just... Yeah, yeah. They, they were just... They were, they were very, like, obvious. If you okay, know. right. So, love that. Thanks for that suggestion. That was actually a really nice one. I am going to stick to my word and do one more, and I'm going to choose it. Oh, so everyone, wait, give wait. up. You're done. Thanks, Laura and Lavian. Oh, um, yeah, you said you would pick one up. Yeah, I'm going to do one more song. Um, I'll make sure it's a tune. Uh, I'll try and find something that you've not heard. Okay. Um, to be fair, I don't recognise many of these on your playlist. Mm, 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 mm. Annoyingly, with this playlist, a lot of the ones that I've had, oh, this would be fucking hilarious, to be fair. I actually might have to do that one. And I might have to explain to you why I find it so funny. Okay. Um... <laughs> what, what if we did Rim Tim Taggy Dim? No, thank you. <laughs> This, you know this is also an, right. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me, but I'm going to have to do two songs because there's one that actually I genuinely think is a phenomenal song. The other one is just really funny. And I think I'm going to go for the really funny one first. No, nah, f- f- finish with the funny one. Okay, you're kind of right. Um, so this is by a band called Noted. Uh, they did a song with Maya Wright. Um they're just ridiculously good producers. Oh, I think I know noted, you do. Uh, you've probably heard AMPM because I've played it a lot. They also did that with Maya Wright. AMPM is a better song than this one. Okay. However, this is recent. Um, but yeah, it. They're just. I don't understand how they do it because they, what they're doing isn't actually even that intricate. It's just the way they're doing it and then mixing it after. Everything forms together so perfectly. <laughs> It's a little on the goofy side.
that's what it does. That is actually all you need to listen to. Okay. Um, so we'll leave it there for that one. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Um, yeah, so what I will say is actually the lyrics aren't great. They really could. Starting the Max Hate Train, why? Uh, yeah, someone just said, I'm at the Vamps concert and I'm still watching. Respect why? to you, Eddie. Go, go Thank away. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us alone. Go watch go the Vamps. Watch the Vamps. We got better than I, Vamps. It's, they're actually good friends of mine, so they're, <laughs> like, don't, don't disrespect. Uh, yeah, anyway, Connor's lovely. Um, we're, we're so far from anywhere near as good as the Vamps. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, 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 they're great. Uh, so, production, I had to go with 10, because they are just literally the best producers currently in terms of pop music. Um, lyrics could do with a bit of work. I actually think I've still been a bit nice on lyrics. I've gone for seven. Uh, melody, it's a really nice melody, so I did go for nine. However, again, I could feel uh, like I'm being... I, I feel like I'm being a bit too nice on the melody, but... I do I've, just been, really like. I've been similar to you, but just a bit harsher across the board. Me- melody, yeah. Production, production was good, but didn't like you know inspire me. It was, I enjoyed it. That's it. Is that an eight? Yeah. It looks like a three. Is it? It's, yeah. it's a three. Eight five eight. Um, yeah. Lyrics, lyrics were. Lyrics are a bit naff. Right. Here we go. Are we ready for the best song you're all ever about? So. I feel like I'm going to have to... Like ex- baby lasagna, that's your room to tag in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to explain why I find this so funny. It's because of how rude this song is. And I'll explain why I think it's rude. So I heard this in a club uh, not too long ago. I just went with my mates to some drum and bass thing. Um, and when this song came on, I was like, yo, that's so sick. And then the second drop came up. I was like, oh my God, what's the second drop about to do? It sounds absolutely... so good you're gonna hear the exact same thing twice okay but it's like and it doesn't even do anything different but it feels more aggressive the second time if you know what i mean and then it goes for a third like slightly different bass in the breakdown and then it's like oh oh third drop what could it possibly be (laughs) fuck you same drop here we fucking go and it's so funny interesting and you've just got a we might have to listen to this whole thing. It's it's not that long, but it's like three minutes forty four. I'll skip the first. Bit. Put your eyes on me. Put your eyes on me. Put your eyes on me. Sorry to anyone that doesn't like drum and bass. You're gonna hate this. Put your eyes on me. Yeah. 
chicken. Oh, I, I there's love a chicken. It so much. Oh my god, the chicken. <laughs> Thank you for the chicken. Okay, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, for for me, it, it ten, tens across the board. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on me by Roma is tonight's winner. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Fuck you all. all. No one no one else can have a better song than Eyes on me by Rover. <laughs> is you the <laughs> song. I didn't see what you're doing. I was just like, I specifically it kept it from you for the punchline of it. And all it says is Leave your, your eyes, eyes on me. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. So lyrics to be a ten for that is like fair play. You know what? They found something that worked, and they oh, stuck it's, to it. I, honestly, and I cannot. <laughs> oh, voice break! I cannot respect that more. Genuinely, yeah. uh, like when I heard it the, in the, the club, the lyrics just work. The bass just work, <laughs> and they just stand by it. And that is that's a tough <laughs> thing to do as a musician is to. Stand by your work. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, Lesson that, learned. That respect. <laughs> well done, Rover. Um, but yeah, no, thank you everyone for that. Uh, just just so we're all clear, that is not mine and Leo's actual opinions on the song. I do actually like the song, to be fair. It, it's yeah, no, not, I, I it's like not it tens yeah, across the board. Um, but, you know, that was just I'm, a, fu- I'm not, a funny as, as little bit we did. someone who doesn't like, listen to a lot of drum and bass, but can appreciate drum and bass. So mm. It was good. That is very. That is certainly leaning on pots and pans drum and bass, which you know a lot of people don't get along with. It's just noise at some point. But yeah. uh, I, I typically like more of the liquid drum and bass stuff, melody induced anyway. But that just it did catch my eye, my ear um, when I was in a club. So thank you everyone so much for taking part. Uh, I will do this another time. I promise. Sorry if we didn't do any of your songs, but you know there's only. So so much time. Uh, I may or may not be back and later. Some of them were just bad songs. Some of them were just, just bad songs. Uh, but but back to what you said about uh, was it Finn and Mary? Yeah. So to whoever, because uh, apparently that's your their sister. Let them know. I, d- I had a. I don't know what happened if to they me there. if they give a shit about our opinion, yeah, if they, they, they might not, they might not care. But let them know that they're absolutely onto something there, and to crack on and just try and get themselves out there, and you know. It, you're on to a winner. It's just early stages, obviously. Everyone's got to be at that point at some point. They are verified, though. Uh, were they? Yeah. Were they actually? Yeah. I mean, it must not be hard to become a verified artist on Spotify, in which case, but um, with two monthly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, now you've got three. Um, it's like so, the same maybe, maybe more, maybe more. Twitter. Maybe some other people enjoyed it. I think I did see a few people saying, What's this song? Um, so, yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon. I, I did say I might be back later, but I'm leaning on possibly not now because I just want to crack on with some work. Um, love you all loads, and we'll see you soon. We've been Max and Harvey. We have. Have, we have we'll, been Max we'll and Harvey. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and so long. Uh, there we, there we.